In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can back up your Boss RC505 and also import some samples. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rowlands and this channel is all about live looping upload three videos just like this every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can back up our Boss RC505. So in this video, I want to show you how we can back up our Boss RC505 to our laptop because if you've owned your Boss RC505 for some time, you'll know over the years we build up all of our preset banks with all of our loop measures and things like that, but we don't have a secure backup. So if we lose the loop pedal, it gets stolen or we spill some drinks on it or whatever, then we've lost all of our hard work of setting up our presets. So for peace of mind, we are going to back this up onto our laptop today. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of a bonus and I'm gonna show you how we can load in some pre-recorded samples onto the Boss RC505. So let's just jump straight into the video. Right, so we're gonna plug our USB type B cable into the back of our Boss RC505. But before we do that, we need to check that our Boss RC505 is set up in mass storage mode. Now, if you don't know how to set up the USB modes on the Boss RC505, check out this video over here where I break it down a little bit more in depth. But we're gonna plug our USB cable into the USB port, and then it's going to say USB storage idling, and then it's gonna to go to accessing while it loads in on the computer. Once it's loaded in on the computer, on Mac it will appear on our desktop like it has here, and it's basically just like a USB device, but if you're running Windows, it'll appear in your little like file explorer area, and then in that little dock area where it tells you what external drive you've got plugged in, because this is essentially going to be seen as a USB stick in our laptop. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to back up the Boss RC505 first. So what we do is we open up the little Boss RC505 thing here and if we explore the files you see we have our data which is like the memory and system settings and then there's also going to be the wave audio so if you've recorded anything into your loop pedal before and then you've saved it by clicking right on the looper station this audio has now been saved onto the pedal and we can now back this audio up. So if we take a look inside the folder We've got data, this is our memory and system stuff, and then we've got wave, which is our audio file. So if we have a look here, you can see we have a... You can see there's an audio file that I've saved on my loop pedal and I've been jamming around. So all we've got to do is we've got to transfer this file onto our laptop. So we could just literally drag and drop this onto our desktop and then it's just going to save it automatically. Or you could go on further and create a folder and call it Boss RC505 Backup. And then you know literally where it is when you're searching for it. And then we'll just drag and drop this inside of this folder. And we'll wait for that to transfer. Now the file has finally backed up onto our computer. We could rename this if we wanted to, to whatever date we did it on. So I don't know, 2020 for example. And then that's us pretty much done with the backing up part. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, before I show you how to import some samples, be sure to click that subscribe button because we're doing this every single week, three times a week, and I don't want you to miss any of my future live looping videos. I'm now going to show you how we can load a sample onto the Boss RC505. Now, our samples have to be a certain specification in order for the loop pedal to accept them, so they have to be a WAV 16-bit and then it's 44.1K hertz, you know, for the sample rate thing. So that is like the maximum spec that the loop pedal is going to accept. So if your WAV's maybe 24 bit or something like that, from what I've interpreted from the manual, it's not going to accept it onto the loop pedal. So you might have to convert that in order to make it work. So for simplicity, I am going to load in a file that was on my Boss RC505 backup just to show you how the upload process works and then you can apply it to your own homemade samples and things like that. So we're gonna head into our Boss RC505 backup 
and then we're gonna head into the wave file here. And as I showed you earlier, the way these files are laid out is by preset number bank. So we have preset number one underscore one, which means it's preset one, track one. And then we have preset one, track two, track three, track four, and then track five. So in order to upload something onto the loop pedal, we'll go into the real Boss RC505 folder, which is here, Boss RC505, it's an external device. We're gonna boot this up, head into Wave, and then we are just going to load something in to preset bank, let's say 80, for example. And we want to load it into track number one. So that's open this file, and literally, we'll just drag and drop a sample that meets the specification into this folder. And then now, we are going to close this out. We can eject the device, so we'll click eject, so it ejects correctly. And then on the Boss RC505, you can see it says it's got USB idling here. We're gonna click exit, and then it'll say disconnect, okay, question mark. And we'll click the right button to say yes, or click the exit button to say no. But obviously we want to eject it out of this mode. So we are going to say yes by clicking right. And now it's gonna go back into performance mode for the loop pedal and no longer be in USB storage mode. So now we're back in performance mode. We're gonna head over to patch number 80. So we'll scroll over and we should theoretically have a sample load in on track one here. So will it or will it not? This is the question and there you go. So as you can see, we have successfully loaded in a sample onto preset 80, track one. Using that process I just showed you inside of the laptop. That's literally how simple it is. We just plug the device in, drag and drop some samples into the correct folders, and they are there on the loop pedal. You can load in backing track elements like chord progressions, drum beats, whatever you want, as long as it meets the specifications of WAV, 16-bit, the 44.1K, sample rate and then it's lower than two gigabytes. The sample, you can just drag and drop them in there, eject the device from your laptop and you're pretty much ready to play straight away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel is all about live looping upload, live looping tutorials, live looping performances every Tuesday, Thursday and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at BenRollinsMusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video over here and I will see you in the next one.